Hey everybody and welcome back to Twin Terror Studio. Today we're going to be looking at Dolphin Emulator again, this time looking at the custom texture packs that are available for the Legend of Zelda games. Now, custom texture packs do not make the world of difference, they're not going to give you the complete remastered version of the games, but they do make everything look that little bit better and a little bit like nicer to play. If you want to know how to install the texture packs, then you can check out another video I did on how to install custom texture packs, but Let's just sit back, relax, get your knickers out of a twist, and let's dive into this, shall we? The first game we're going to be looking at is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Everyone remembers The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time as this beautiful game that was released on the N64 back in 1996 or 1997 when the console was first released and it looked fantastic. Now the best way to play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time is via the Collector's Edition that was released on the GameCube which includes four games, The Legend of Zelda, The Adventure of Link, Zelda 2, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, and a cheeky 20 minute demo for The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Now, you'd be surprised to know that The Legend of Zelda did not look like this. This is a fan made remake made in the Unreal Engine by CryZenX, which I'm going to be looking at later on in the week. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time actually looked like this. A huge difference and starting to show its age quite a little bit right now see the muddy textures in the background the grass the walls which I'm sure was absolutely fantastic at the time but really is quite ugly to look at Dolphin really does do its best with its anti-aliasing and its upscaling but it really doesn't drown out the drab muddy textures that are in this game which makes it look just a bit shit really I know a lot of people don't play it for how it looks, they play it for that nostalgia and that feels of how it was when they first played the game. But if you just want to make it a little bit better to look at, you can add texture packs. So let's have a look at the Zelda UHD texture pack that I have made available in my previous video. And there you go, we've loaded up the textures and as you can see, Everything now looks a little bit crisper and a little bit clearer. You see the texture on the wall here, the grass. Just looks a little bit, it's still a bit square, but it just looks clearer, crisper and neater and makes everything look a little bit more enjoyable to play. So here it is again without the texture parts. Take a look at Link and the HUD buttons that are here. You've got the hearts looking a bit pixelated the green button the yellow c buttons and the rupees in the middle there and if we just turn the texture packs back on we can now see that the buttons are much clearer the icons have been painted properly the hearts now are in high definition and so are the rupees these are just the little touches including the map that make this texture pack a little bit better and if we go to the map screen and the equipment screen link himself is still a bit pixelated and out but his shirt is there's a new icon for his shirt all the fonts and words have been replaced so the save decide to quest status i'll turn the texture packs off again and we can take a look at that as you can see this screen is much more pixelated and difficult to read because it was made for a crt tv we got to quest status looking very very Drab the rupees again, return, save, decide. And if you turn the texture packs on, they're now just a little bit clearer and it just makes the whole playing experience a little bit better. The current map, without the textures, is pixelated and difficult, even upscaled at 1080p. If we add the textures. And everything is nice and upscaled and playable. And these changes also apply to the beginning of the game. So you see the Legend of Zelda logo there has been nice and coloured in. And everything looks beautiful. Let's turn them off again to show you what it looks like without it. Pixelated, nasty, ugly. I mean, I'm sure it was fantastic at the time on your CRT TVs. Now, if we take a look at the file selection, 
screen without textures with textures crisp clean and beautiful and the final thing i'm going to show you is a side-by-side -side comparison of the classic opening scene where the deku tree deku tree deku deku i can't remember which one was the deku tree finally wakes up and sends navi on his way to wake up link to start off the adventure Again, the text just looks a little bit better and the, and the Deku tree is a little bit more defined. You can clearly see his moustache. And Navi certainly does look better with these texture packs on. I remember watching this scene when I was like eight years old and just being completely blown away by the graphics. We'd gone from the Super Nintendo playing Super Mario World and A Link to the Past to this 3D all-around world and it was absolutely mesmerizing. Makes me wonder if my 10-year-old nephew would enjoy the game as much as I did or would he see it as a bad game because it doesn't match up to the standards of today. Probably another video in there somewhere. As you can see, as Navi bounces between each one, the differences is quite. The difference between the packs is quite clear, even in the picture or mirror or whatever it is that's on the side, the open window. That's all I've got time for today. If you've liked this video, then please hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this. Stay tuned because I'm going to do a Legend of Zelda Wind Waker custom texture pack next. And you'll be thinking, Wind Waker, that's flawless. That doesn't need texture packs, but this one does add a little bit of spice to the game. I'll also be doing another video on the Twilight Princess HD texture packs. I've been Tony Daniels from Twin Cherry Studio. And remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs>